I've been preparing for zombies for a while, so. Can ghosts be racist? I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'5". Five five. Off, 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 off. The pill! Let's just test. Everybody test first. Testing. Test. Testies. Sounds good. Test. Well, test. Test. Tickles. Test. 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 test, test tickles test, in test. my mouth. Clappy claps. Yeah. I mean, we can get started. Let me warm this up real quick. Okay, well, let's get right back to it. But before we do that, welcome back to another episode of Off the Pill Podcast. We have very special guest. Actually, it's not really special. Wow. Greg is Greg is the. No, I was gonna say we we're gonna have Will and Greg, but Will's always here. Greg is the special guest today. Hey guys, come on, come. On. You weren't. Oh, that's the last. Oh Damn, my man. god, that's like he's this getting is no this love the treatment today. I get. <laughs> What it do, Just because I, I see you guys every day. <laughs> oh, damn. I like that one. Okay, well, okay, normally he's he puts the clap. He was right, not again. ready today. Let's try it again. No, that's that's what he gets. All that's right. Because of you, you weren't prepared for Wait, Greg. say my name. Oh, and then Will is also here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. I just wanted to get the intro out of the way because so we can get back to what were you talking about? Wait, about introduce clapping? me. Introduce me. No. What? Okay, and Paco. Why does he get that thing? I don't know. That was supposed I don't, I don't to be know. for you. Yeah, I, it was supposed to be for me. Wait. I just didn't get the seat. You. <laughs> I don't get to make I've, decisions I've here. set this whole thing up for you guys and you guys ruined it all. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? That is... This is what you guys do when... <sighs> When I'm not around, huh? Yeah, this is... Yeah, Paco pretty much just takes the good jobs. We need to add... I wanted to be like the a person to do things. We could add an a L? thing, yeah. That would be nice. And put it next to you. This is probably something we should be discussing outside of the podcast. <laughs> People are going to be like... And we need oh. a new table. Yeah. Is this complaining hour right now? Are we just going to whine about everything? Um, constructive Wait, we're not, yeah. criticism. <laughs> about our own <laughs> podcast. <laughs> All right. It's a work in progress. It is... Um. Yeah. Okay. So Greg's never been. You weren't even on it when we first started mm. it. I never even watched these things. Yeah, it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, the reason why Greg is never has never been on a podcast is most of the time Greg is editing. All the uh, time. Yeah. Pretty much all the time. That's the only reason why. And if he's on here, he's not editing. And if he's not editing, we're probably going to be an additional <laughs> an additional week behind. So <laughs> it's true, <laughs> but then, but then this week I think it, we're we're gonna make it work. Yeah, nope. Mm. Will Will said no, but he's the one editing this one. But yeah. <sighs> that's always a tough part with these podcasts because we're not gonna miss a week. So like, I I don't know if we should talk about the video that we're about to put out because I don't know if it's gonna be out yet. Mm. Just like the Valentine's Day no. one, mm. it won't. Yeah. It won't. It won't. Be. It 100%. needs to be. It needs to be out. It's like the biggest, most. Largest amount of footage we've had, yeah, on one person in a really long time. Yeah, yeah. it needs to be out. <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean this last video? Porn yeah, porn? This, the video coming out. Yeah, yeah. no, I just, I just, I mean, we could talk about it. Like, say, I mean, we pretty much exposed the Arden thing before the That's video came out, which kind of made the video not make sense. But this is the worst <laughs> intro ever. It is. What? We're not talking about anything. Now um, that is complaining. Oh, damn. Where's the wah wah wahs? Give me some wah wah wahs. Give me some wah wah wahs. Yeah, we decided to do a four person podcast today. Don't worry, we're going to get uh, Dana in at some point. We wanted to keep Greg and Dana separate, though. Everybody. They're not the same person. Okay. Yeah. They're not like twins where they're the same person. I'm just kidding. We get that all a lot. The twins. That we're related. You're twins? You guys get that you're related? Yeah. Actually, well, no. What? I don't see that at all. Actually. No, <laughs> I mean Maybe they're both they're just short. racism because of racism. Yeah, they're both short. Dana's yeah. pretty hairy. Give me some wet, wet, wet. Okay. <laughs> oh, what man. a great intro, guys! What a great intro. I know. All right, let's 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 jump into some of these things. What kind of topics we got? This? I want to try and do something uh, different this week. We didn't really get to do it with That's Ian. That's what you said last week. Yeah, but we jumped in it with Ian. That's why. But mm. I want to try and do something where, like, you know, at the start of the podcast, just to get it rolling a little bit better since our second half is always better. Uh, uh, I wanted to try and <laughs> see if we could start off, like, with what made you laugh the hardest most recent. Because then you kind of get the giggles going. And then you kind of get into storytelling mode, and you're ready to just. All right, you start then. It's a right. idea. The I don't like it. All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> the funniest thing to me this week was interacting with Ryan's dad because at the last video, we're outside, and it was really cold, uh, for us at least. 
And it was, I would say it's, it was in the 40s. Uh, but for Ryan's dad, he's from Hawaii, which is a lot warmer. So we were like, he, was, he asked, oh, what's the temperature? And uh, we were like, oh, it's, it's about like 40 degrees. And he's like, what? No, it's not. And then we pulled out a phone and showed him 40 degrees. And he goes, yeah, but that was in your pocket. So it's probably warmer in there. And we all started dying because he thought it was a thermometer. And it was the greatest. <laughs> it was funny. the greatest thing. <laughs> well, you have to understand, he has a flip phone still. Dang. Dang. He has a flip phone. <laughs> makes it and better. he doesn't know how to answer calls. He knows how to send calls, which no. is a huge upgrade over the past couple of years. He doesn't He doesn't answer any of my calls or, or my mom's. And he, uh, yeah, I mean, th- he only can make calls. I don't know why he doesn't answer it. <laughs> yeah, just outside. He yeah. saw me uh, with the SD cards for the cameras, and he was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, this is like, uh, this is for the cameras. This is what we film on. This is like our, our film. <laughs> and he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I didn't hear this story. <laughs> yeah, it was just right out there. I'm pretty Dude, sure. He is, did not understand technology <laughs> at all. Yeah. Like, he probably couldn't turn on a computer. I can't even. Actually, he probably, I would like to see. Yeah, that would be an interesting do video. We do that. Oh, uh, well, it's, he's a rare breed that of people who don't understand technology <laughs> yeah. whatsoever. How about you guys? What is something that made you laugh really hard recently? Like I don't laugh know. I uh, honestly, it's I been a depressing laugh. week for me. <laughs> Nobody laughs here. Yeah, I mean, I wish you would have told us you were going to ask us so we <laughs> no. could think about it. It seems like you were really prepared I know. for it, and we aren't. Um, yeah, he, he's like, I want to try something new that I thought of and been preparing. <laughs> yeah, I um, have. But uh, yeah, you guys figured it out on the spot. No, I have nothing that I can think of right Literally now. Literally nothing. I mean, that I really I, that is w- at? the thing that I laughed I, at. I mean, if that is you yeah, as well, then the same go for thing. It. Yeah. yeah. But then that, again, that leads us right back to what we are not sure we're going to talk about, which I think we can. Let's just say it. Go for it. It's because your... it probably will be out, right, Will? No. Uh, it'll be out. So we did a Ryan Tries ghost hunting video. And um, it's kind of based off of and inspired by Ghost Adventures. Um, mm-hmm. I just always wanted to do that. I don't know if you guys actually. I didn't ask you guys, but yeah. uh, do you guys believe us. in ghosts? We talked about. That Are we talking about before or after our experience? No, I mean, okay, before and after. Has it changed? Even Ooh, do you believe in ghosts? It's changed a little bit for me. I would say. How so? From the video, from this last video, from the last video, yeah. Because you know, like for me, I, I don't have any hard evidence that they did exist. I didn't have any hard evidence that they uh, didn't exist. I don't know what I, yeah. Um, and so I was just like, I was just going into it with an open mind. Like, oh, we'll see what happens. You, you know? didn't, so you didn't really, I know you don't have evidence, but yeah. did you believe? Uh, I was more inclined to be open to the idea of ghosts after that. Really? Okay. Yeah. What, uh, was it just like the whole experience? Yeah. Kind of like certain things that just couldn't be explained. Like what that, what, how does that happen? Yeah. You yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't know why I thought you were very like, Ghosty, uh, like, yeah, like super believer. Yeah, even before that, yeah, oh, I thought no, you were no. ghosty. Yeah, I just get scared very easily by that's things. me. I think Greg that's, does too. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, a scaredy cat for sure. And that experience just kind of solidified it for me. Yeah, that whole thing was just, it was, I felt like going into it, 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 it was kind of like a gimmick thing. Like I thought it was gonna be just like this cheesy tour that we take, and people were gonna be kind of like you know overhyping it. But man. I'm a firm believer now. I'm extra you, you firm. You believed before, though, no? <laughs> extra firm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, oh, man. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I've i always just had a... I mean, I, I believe in a lot of things. So <laughs> it's... Uh, ghosts is just one of those things that are... One of the things I believe in. I believe in in, in zombies. I've been preparing for zombies for a while, so... I, like, I've, seriously? I mean, I don't you know. You believe that this, it's a possibility? Y- sure. Or that they already exist? No, not ex- already exist. But okay. I mean, it's a possibility that they could happen. I guess <laughs> yeah. I don't know the science. Yeah, theoretically, it, but it's just fun to 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 kind of keep that in the back of my mind and prepare for it. Yeah, I guess so. Me? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I feel like I'm pretty neutral on it still. I yeah. feel like last time we talked about it, I feel very much the same way. Like I'm not going to mm-hmm. discredit people from having their own experiences. So that's why I can't really say like, oh, they don't exist. Like, I'm not going to be like, you know, Paco had this experience and say, 
that wasn't real because obviously it was real to him. I just haven't had like a personal experience. Right. And and going there at that tour, it was really it was fun. Like um it was a really awesome experience to like play with the tools and like get to all the tools that you see on like those ghost exactly. shows. Yeah. yeah. The uh what is it called? Like the ghost box talk box. Yeah, that box. was crazy. Spirit box. box. Yeah, yeah, all those things. It was just like it's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. They but had like five devices that each one did something differently. Yeah. Yeah. And it was cool to see what each one did. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm I'm still maybe I'm like a little bit in leaning a little bit more towards believing yeah. after that experience because everything adds up to what you know your all your experiences will you know yeah. create your whatever you believe in. But for me, I don't know. That you, that's you never so that you never had any personal experiences. That's why you're I mean, that's, that's, that's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 I mean, I was, I would say that I was a super skeptic. I mean, I told the story already on the other podcasts um, yeah. about my experience. So I'm not going to go through that again. But like I was, you know, growing up in Hawaii, Sean and I used to go hunt all the time. And we used to go like all the most haunted spots, everywhere, all the legends, never saw anything. So I never believed. And then just randomly that one night happened and I kind of leaned the other way. But I'm st- even then, even before we did the tour, I was still kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of skeptic. Right. Even when she brought the, the, the other devices, I was like, man, they could have easily tampered with this stuff to make it. And maybe somebody yeah. was like controlling it. But then there were some, just some things like Paco said, I, I couldn't really explain. Exactly. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Right. Yeah. So that was a little freaky. I think there's one experience that Will had that he didn't, you didn't really share with people with the, the box uh, that when it kind of like glitched out and the battery died. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was one that, well, I mean, we'll try to put it in the video, but it was, we never really had like an ending to that segment, really. Mm. That was like the scary part because it just kind of ended and we yeah. were all like, wait, what just happened? Yeah. Like when it, it basically was like a tool that, um, it was like a dictionary of words and somehow like through energy or whatever, the it, they think that the ghost can, you know, essentially manipulate the device to pick a certain word. It's kind of like a modern day Ouija board. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Without you having to spell it out, yeah. like they just like text it to you. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah. when we were like, it just we were really like into finding this. Like Ryan was getting like a big meter, and like the device was going off, and then all of a sudden, like we hadn't really had too much activity on this thing. This thing like goes crazy, and it puts out like six or seven words, and I could only pick out like two or three, but two of them were Japanese pr- and present, and. I immediately thought, like, okay, of course they're, like, they're understanding that we have a lot of Japanese people here, and... They're saying that you're Japanese. Well, uh, to me, I instantly thought, like, <laughs> made me think, I'm talking to Greg about <laughs> this, I was like, would they be okay with that? Because yeah. they're, like, really, it's like a, they're but from a completely yeah. different time. No, 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 that's what I was saying. I was like, because there was also before that, it was, like, leave, or, yeah. like, go, or uh, not, what was it, um... It was like it, you're like not in the way. There was something. There's other words that were like move, leave, remove, oh yeah, move, remove, remove, and remove. Yeah. yeah. So and then I was thinking like, okay, this is okay. This place was built or around in 1913, and you know that's like around the time. Well, that's not around the time, but let's say these people, you know, are, were 20 years older, 30 years older, and it's it's around wo- wo- world <laughs> World War Two. Yeah. Right. Was oh, that 1940? 1940-ish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which is very... Po- I mean, it, I it was around then. Those people could have been around then. And that's when, you know, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. I mean, it could be some animosity. I don't know. Yeah, that was probably the most Japanese people in that bar or saloon. <laughs> so, here's the <laughs> real the question. the most Asians in general. Yeah, maybe. The real question. Sound bite. You ready? Can ghosts be racist? <laughs> 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 Shoot. I mean, I mean, for their time, It makes not? sense, because... Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have yeah. PC culture back then. Yeah. Well, I mean, they probably had their version of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. It probably super inappropriate. But that's exactly what I thought, like, immediately as I saw I, uh, I saw it, and I went, hmm, like, never really thought about that. Like, if, you know. Different time. Yeah, it was a completely different time. Like, would that affect them, how they would in- interact with, you know, people? I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It is crazy. So. All right, well, if you guys were ghosts, and you, you could select what time era that you could haunt and where. What would it be? Oh, what select t- a what time? What kind of question? <laughs> what time era? Did you type that out? No, I'm just... What kind we, talk, right, we talked about ghosts for a bit, you know, <laughs> so we're trying to keep this podcast under 60 minutes. Um, yeah, yeah I, I would probably haunt right now. 
haunt you guys for <laughs> asking that question. Would you <laughs> <laughs> just start? Just keep unplugging each other's mics. <laughs> for people who don't know, we always have issues when we start podcasts we for do. whatever reason. There might be a ghost in what here. What are the Sean's ghosts? Like he's not dead, but he just has a ghost. Or yeah. we just suck at audio equipment. Yeah, hey, that's really mean, dude. Why would you say that about Sean? What? Wow. What did he say? Yeah, you're hear. going too dark. He said something about Sean being dead. <gasps> I didn't say. Wow, I said dude. Sean's. <laughs> <laughs> I like when nobody hears that. I, oh, man. <laughs> anyway, um, that le- that actually could lead to our another topic we want to bring up. Because it's very dark. Mm-hmm. And this is started off pretty dark. Um, how do you got, how did you guys feel and hear about the whole Momo thing? Oh, just hearing that word. Mm-hmm. That was the name of my brother's cat, by the way. Yeah. The one who was in videos, Momo. Mm. So Should we put a picture cat. up of Momo in the you, podcast? Or? Dang, you guys are going to hey, edit you, that you do it then. Okay, whatever. Okay, right no, now. It's scary. Uh. <laughs> anyway, um, the first, I mean, I saw it on my Facebook timeline. And it's one of the, I don't get scared easily. Yeah. But I just was scrolling. I was just like, what the? Like, yeah. who? Like, I thought it was one of my friends. Like, they edited their photos or whatever. Apparently, it was a, a, a sculpture or something like that. Art piece of some sort. Yeah. Japanese? Japanese art piece or something? Yeah. Um, But it was very... I actually felt weird by it. Like, I was like, I don't want to see this. Yeah. I don't get scared easily. Yeah. But... um, It's good art. It was a hoax, right? We f- it was, like, reported supposedly, this week. Yeah. Supposedly, uh, people believed that uh, it would get younger kids or audiences to uh, do di- uh, dangerous challenges that could lead to death, such as, like, uh, turning the gas stove on and then just letting gas well, it was re- blow. It was reported um, that someone in Sacramento, right, some lady in Sacramento had a daughter who said that, uh, hey, yeah, Greg and Will are from Sacramento. six a um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, they, they, she had a daughter, supposedly, um, that – Turned on the gas stove because a, a YouTube video of Momo uh, told her to do that. Something or something. Like it was that. like a Momo challenge or something like that. I don't know, but it was it was debunked that that person was making that up. Wow, that's crazy. I did not know that. I, I just, mean, I just saw the people, face. Dude. It's scary, but yeah. it's actually a challenge, huh? I mean, I mean no, it's no, a, no, it was a, a hoax. fake challenge. Yeah, people but, were saying that. Oh, this is such a. Basically, people were. It. I feel like it was like that lady was just like. Or I don't know who it was who started it. Was just like, hey, I want like some kind of attention. Uh-huh. Like I can't believe, like somebody, you know, how people like to post. I can't believe this is what's wrong with the world or yeah. whatever. Like those kind of posts. I don't know. I, I'm friends with a lot of older people. Things called like they like to be outraged. Is it yeah, out- outrage yeah. culture or something like but that. But that's like that's. I mean, I when I saw that, I was like, damn, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. But like she does, like that could actually happen now. That could start because somebody created that f- that hoax. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it's. So there's no reported incidences of like actual things that yeah. happen, right? Uh, not yet, not not according to the articles that I read or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, not that I know of. That is scary. I think it just it's really a shame too because it kind of sheds like negative light a little bit on YouTube in a sense to people mm-hmm. who don't really maybe maybe someone will never know about this being a hoax, you know, yeah. like uh, from older generation or whatever, and now they have you know it's kind of giving them another reason. Uh, to not, I mean, that's kind of what I think when I hear it. It's like, man, that it, I'm glad it's a hoax, of course, but it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of unfortunate, you know. It's kind of like, I don't know. Do you guys remember any like hoaxes or stuff when you were a kid? Uh, because I don't even know if they were hoaxes or not, but I remember as a kid, my mom would constantly get these emails, uh, that would alert her like kids in like Western U.S. have been uh getting getting dealt drugs that are passed off as pop rocks and then when you eat them like it can be so strong that children die and so she would be like you can't eat pop rocks anymore i never heard of that yeah Yeah. so that's why i don't know if those are ever real or if those are hoaxes seems like the same kind of thing though yeah Yeah. Yeah. but there was a one thing that isn't a hoax uh that sounds like one and it's called jenkum have you guys ever heard that what jenkos jenko (laughs) jeans jenga jenkum jenkum Jenga uh, marbles. Yeah, and it's it's a hal- hallucinating <laughs> drug where people would pee and poop into a balloon, and then smell it afterwards. Oh, <laughs> and they would get high off of that it. Sounds like an idea. You can you get high off of the pee and poop smell? Some like it like ferments or something like that. Isn't that like, like is that a porta potty? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> so people go into a porta potty and, just, and go. just start breathing, <laughs> oh, and they dude, get high. Hey, I stuff. feel like this is a hoax to get people to go into porta potty and smell. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Ian poop. Hey, some people got them crazy <laughs> fetishes, man. <laughs> some people aren't to feet. Some people aren't to pee and poop. Yeah, apparently. 
I mean, that, that's, that's real. Yeah, that's hundred percent. It's that I'm, I remember like Wikipedia, actually seeing dude. things Dang. about that. Yeah. So, Jeez. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I mean, don't knock it until you try it. That's that. <laughs> no, we are not condoning that. That's that Duke Duke moonshine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't try it. It's just a joke. Jeez. In the mid 1990s, it was reported to be a popular street drug amongst Zambian street children. What? It's a Zambian. Zambia. Zambia. It's a type of rice. Zam- Zambia. Zambodia. I think Zambia. I don't know. I Africa. Don't know Zamboni. I'm really bad with geography. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I mean, on the Momo topic, that artist, kudos to them for making something so yeah. Yeah. scary. Yeah. Last time I was scared of a face like that was probably like a, like the Grudge face or something. Mm. Like, yeah. I've been scared. I've been swiped past pictures of my feet so fast ever since like I was in high school. Of your feet? My feet. My, my, feed. my, my Instagram oh. feed. <laughs> I was like, you got pictures of your feet? <laughs> I thought <Hey>. that too. <laughs> hey, I got that fetish, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's into feet. Other people into poop and pee. That's wild. Holy cow. No, but I mean, that's that's one of the reasons why I was like kind of impressed that you came. I mean, like I ga- I asked you. I was like, yeah. are you willing to film yeah. this ghost hunting episode? Because I know yeah. more than anyone in the group, Greg is probably the most afraid of those things maybe dana maybe dana no i no, think greg. really not, as, yeah. not more because dana wow. came with us to watch the conjuring yeah. too greg would greg i mean he wasn't there but i'm sure he would not have wanted to go watch that mm-hmm. dana did i don't even like watching the movies you guys watch like conjuring and all that i still yeah, you don't come with us i hate those movies <laughs> <laughs> they're scary dude yeah i so like them do you think what um i guess it's because you're a believer kinda. i think it's just like all right, so I'm not scared of like zombies and werewolves and vampires because like you can you can fight those things, right? But like ghosts and stuff, like there's or no demons. Yeah, like I, I felt like I'm defenseless. That I makes sense. I can't do anything towards yeah. them. That's mm-hmm. how I felt about like Chucky. Like I mean, it was a scary movie as a kid, but when I got yeah, older, you can punt I was that like, thing pretty far. Yeah, this is a little toy. Like if it kills me, I deserve to die. <laughs> like a toy kills you. That's how I think. Yeah. But same with like the Grudge Girl. I was like, dude, this little t- or the Ring Girl. I was like, if she crawls out of my TV, I was like thinking like you know like in uh, Scary Movie Three, uh-huh. where she crawls through the TV and then um, what's that lady, the black girl in that? Uh-huh. She starts beating her ass. Yeah. And I was just like, that's exactly how I think it would go. You're not gonna if you die to this little girl. It was decomposed. I, I mean, like, she's like, you, she should be able to break. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. her skin's breaking. Her bones are probably rotting. She probably smells like that Zimbabwe stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it was not Zimbabwe. Zamb- Zambia, I think. I think. Yeah. We, we, are, we don't know things. <laughs> you were also probably doing judo when you watched that, huh? Ooh. Like, you were probably, probably. wrestling. I mean, I were, definitely like, was, but yeah. Like, I was like, I, you could I can it. see how she would <laughs> come at me, and I'm already planning how I'm going to take her down, get behind her. Probably snap her neck or something. Is there such thing as a judo judo chop? There is no such thing as a judo chop. Actually, you know what? If someone's grabbing your lapel, <laughs> and you break like, it, you could chop your hand down, but it's not a real thing. That's not yeah. nobody says judo chop. There's no judo kick either. Mm-hmm. Come on, Austin Powers. Come on, they they done did the it. Life is a lie. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, I I, I just thought it was um, I was sh- kind of shocked. So even at some points, because Greg will go off and get equipment and. You know, do things on his own um, without anybody else around the other night when we were filming. I was shocked that you were like just going off on your own. I turned on like when I get into film mode. Yeah. Like, I just don't even think anymore. It's just like a autopilot. Yeah. I was just filming. So the crazy thing was when I was filming later on down to during the day, like the we just kept having like, camera equipment failure. Like yep. all our batteries kept dying and stuff like that. And. That was the stuff that was creeping me out. It kind of broke me out of my, you know, my yeah, focus. Yeah. I was like, wait, all this stuff is charged, and it just keeps dying. Yep. What's going on? And that never happens. Yeah, never it happens. never happens. And they said it might because it's supposedly like the ghosts are pulling energy from, yeah. you know, electronics or whatever. Yeah. And Paco's phone went off randomly, mm-hmm. um, even though he had full service. And even then, I was still skeptical. I was like, okay, what if they have a device that's making our... Like an EMP jam. Exactly, yeah. But then my phone was fine the whole time. Everybody else, it was just like random... You know, moments that we didn't even get to get on camera a lot of times because yeah. it was just like we're setting up. You yeah, know? it was. So it was I like was getting I was getting scared that we weren't going to be able to get the shots. Yeah, no. exactly. Honestly, because I was like, I have two batteries; they die instantly, and I have to use this specific infrared camera to get these shots. And it was like kind of that was making me scared. Like, damn, I want to get this these these shots. I can't. So, yeah. I don't know. But I feel like you could fight a ghost. How? Yeah. Sage, 
um, but when you a cross, another a thing prayer, too though, when you think about know, it, like blessings. <clears throat> when there is a ghost, most times they're just scaring you. Like it, you don't hear about a ghost like killing anyone. That's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe like if it's a demon and you got possessed. But how often do you hear about that in right. real life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or same with um, most times it's somebody you know just scaring, getting scared because they saw something. But it never like oh it grabbed my hair. It's like well okay that's not even assault. You're yeah. Like, actually, I don't know. That's probably assault. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. If someone like touched your hair, like, uh, well, I mean, I don't want to get too much into the video because we're just know. giving away the whole thing, I right? Now. I yeah, just yeah. in case. It would be a good. Um, one, though. But how about this then? Um, instead of talking about this video, let's talk about the, uh, I guess synergy between both Greg and Ryan. So a lot of people the process the process, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and how how well you guys work together. Um, so like with a lot of the videos, uh, most Ryan will write the full script have like some wild ideas. Cause like he said in other podcasts, he likes to push uh, his ideas and see like, Oh, is this possible to make? I want to try something new every time. <laughs> and he'll come up to Greg and Greg is someone who never says no. He just always like, yeah, okay, we can do that. Yeah. So th- speaking on that, even just recently, I, I middle of, a, it, he was fixing another edit and I just texted him randomly. I had this idea and basically I was just like, Hey, do you think it's possible to do this? And before he even had a chance to answer, I was like, wait, I have to rephrase that because Greg is always going to say it's possible because he'll find a way. But it's a matter of like, okay, is this going to be worth us putting the time into? Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. because Greg always figures out how to do anything. It might take two months. Yeah, but, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> Just like, wait, I mean, like, I mean, we, let's talk about it. Like, because there's some videos like, uh, I wasn't too worried about the Fortnite one. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of effects in that and stuff like that. Um, but I asked you, is that how possible is this to build an entire fort? Yeah. You know? um, yeah. Do we have to build it in real life? Or like, is it easier to make an effect for it? Yeah. Um, and you said it's possible. So I'm like, okay. But it's a matter of like how possible and in a realistic time. Right, right. Usually it's I, – I, I look at the, the thing on paper or your text message or whatever – and on paper, it looks, it looks way more doable than you know in actuality. So yeah. I, 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 I oftentimes jump the gun, and I usually <laughs> just say yes, just to kind of like you know, just so I can start thinking about it. Because once I know something, we're actually gonna do something. That's when like my brain kind of starts putting the pieces together and doing all the logistics. But sometimes it is impossible. Yeah, but we're too far into it that right. mm. <laughs> it's yeah. like we can't turn back now. Well, so like the a good example is you know on the exposed video, yeah, um, the music video we did, uh, we I was just pitching ideas with with you, and I was like, this is so much post work. Like, I didn't I didn't have an idea for that bridge part. I yeah. know what I wanted to see. I wanted to see all these uh, little screens right as uh, as we're spinning around, which we did, but I didn't know how it was. And then your idea, you were like, oh, and what if? all those screens ends up being you. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. A- and because you said it, I was like, okay, then it's doable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, and you did, you did it. Yeah. I mean, most of the times the effects and stuff that we do, I mean, it's there. I mean, you see it all over Hollywood all the time. Like anything is possible nowadays, especially with today's technology. What they have ho- a lot of time and resources. Yeah, that's what's yeah. that's what kind of holds us back. It's just you know like technology, manpower, and just time in yeah. overall. And uh, but like the ideas, that's kind of like uh, where I guess me and Ryan kind of shine because he'll write something and I will kind of see it a completely different way, and uh, we don't really combine our ideas until like midway when we're kind of we both got an idea of where our heads are at so sometimes it's like two completely different videos or two completely different ideas coming together mm-hmm. and sometimes it works sometimes it sometimes it's you know sometimes uh, it's like mid like filming yeah we're like yeah. oh this is not what i was thinking exactly but for whatever re- i mean we it ends up most times we try to at least make it work yeah um even if that means getting rid of something uh, yeah but I mean that's that's usually the process for that for the most part. Yeah. Sometimes Ryan like fully leaves some sections blank, you know, like whenever we do like a connection type video, like a like a Miley Cyrus, uh what do you call that video? Like conspiracy 
Conspiracy mm. theory, I guess. Yeah, yeah, when Ryan goes into his uh, Ryan math stuff, where he's just connecting the dots, and he doesn't so really know how to visually, visualize that. Yeah. So he I'll just leaves it blank, and then, you know, it's up to us to kind of connect it, it together. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, if there's no specific direction on those, then what a lot of times what Greg's good at is figure like, visually, I think you see everything visually. Yeah, that's... Where I see things more like, almost like a math equation. Right. Right, mm. and that's right. why it helps because it's like we're working two different parts of our brains. Right, if that makes sense, it's like well, we're half a brain, <laughs> kinda. Um, but yeah, that's I. That's kind of like what. Yeah, most I mean, of the process is like. I will say the very first kind of experience that kind of relates to this, like your question, is like when we first started working with Ryan. <clears throat> we're in Los Angeles, and it was me and Greg, and the, like I was doing BTS, uh, starting to do BTS. And Greg was just starting to do effects on First Channel. And it was uh, the eye one. You were there oh, for that? Dang. Yeah. You were there for can Dear Ryan. Can you open your eyes? Mm -hmm. That's oh, like no we, we way. First was that my first down. video I did with No, you we did. Your first one, I think, I think was Movies and Minutes Avengers. That's the first one I like. That's the one did. you came out to Vegas. Yeah. 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 But that one was, I feel like, that your eye, literally, eye opening. <laughs> of You were like, holy cow, Like I, I've always had yeah. these ideas that I want to do, but you couldn't do them on your own. So yep. when you had literally like the capability to now do these like graphic or CGI kind of bigger ideas that are kind of more, mm -hmm. I don't know, you just can't edit them like uh, cutting scenes. It's like you obviously had to spend time. If you're not familiar with it, it's the one where it's, Dear Ryan, can you open your eyes? And he goes, Ooh, and his eyes go. He gets those momo <laughs> eyes. Yeah. He gets really, really big. And Greg like made these three D eyes that got super <laughs> big. And it destroys the room and then yeah. the building. And then for whatever reason, it starts chasing Dietrich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The effects on that was, that was fire, sick. bro. No, but the thing is, that's I didn't even think like even if I could see it in my head at right. the time, we, I've never done anything like that. I was like, how the hell? Cause I was on like iMovie, I think. Exactly. There's no way, unless you did like green screen, which I kind of experimented with, did not know what I was doing, but uh, I didn't know that was possible. And that just opened the door for so much work. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So much more time. And it spiraled out of control yeah. from there. Yes, yep, yes, and yes, then we yes, went yes. downhill from there, just. <laughs> just stress, <laughs> Yeah, Just stress. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> All right, well, that, I mean, that seems like an interesting... You guys started talking about your origin story, almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But before we go into our origin story, I think it's about time we hit that halfway mark. Oh, we are. We're there already. Yes, we are. Yeah, we were talking about ghosts for a while, huh? Shishi break. Mm. Shishi break? Do you guys have to shishi? No. I actually could shishi again. Again? Uh, I... We'll wait for you. Liquids. You guys trying to shishi in a balloon? Ooh. Try it out. And, and doodoo? Good. All right, she should do the break. <laughs> she should do the break. All right, just she should break. All right, break. Break. And we're back. <laughs> what the? What? Is it more? I changed it up a little bit. It, it was very back. different. Yeah. You know what else is something that we've changed up? What? I feel like we've gone too big league. Like, what does got, that mean? What I'm, that? I'm about to explain. Relax. Oh, Relax. Whoa. Relax. Why are you so mad? Because you cut me off, like always. What does that mean, though? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we got too bigly, because once we got one sponsor, we've never begged for another. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember you guys did this one podcast where, like, you guys were trying to get um, Sean a, 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 a high-paying job. That's no, we're on? trying to get him a volunteering job. <laughs> and I think he actually got a job. Oh, really? Yeah. For real? I just talked to him... Um, I, well, I don't, I I don't know if I should say I don't, it's not my place, but I and I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> he may or may not have gotten a job. I'm not saying because of the podcast, by the way. It's it. I he was looking to get a volunteer. He was trying to just volunteer. Yeah. Because they weren't letting him volunteer, which I thought was weird, but it makes sense now. Um. But yeah, he's uh. Nice, I think Sean. he may or may not have gotten a job. Well, maybe congrats, Sean. Maybe, maybe congrats, maybe Sean. Congrats. So kind of like, eh. maybe. and we're back. Yeah, and we're back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except that nobody sees that part. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we're, well, why don't you beg for a sponsor real quick, and then we can jump into your origin. This story. is the part where we're supposed to be like, hey, um, and thank you so much to 
something. Yeah. We're sponsoring this uh, shishi break. Yeah. Do you think that turns away sponsors that we, that we call it a shishi break? Hell, I, 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 don't, I don't think, think they even know what it what is. That is. Okay, let's keep it that way then. Yeah. yeah, we explained it though before. Yeah, but they don't watch the befores; they just look at the views. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, those <laughs> went down. <laughs> 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 oh, um, good. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, let's talk about. Uh, yeah, we. I guess we could bring up origin story. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah. the the one thing that I read the most was how did you guys meet and. It kind of includes all three of you. Yeah. It includes yeah. more than you a think. A lot, yeah. It's, it's like a, a lot of people. So this is the real story because we made the animated thing that uh, yeah. was, I mean, it was it was in the right order, kind of. Yeah. It was kind of the story, Pretty but accurate. it was like a joke. But, but was, I'm, I'm not a stripper. I, so many people have asked and be like, you were a stripper and you took that seriously? No, but the people took it serious. That's why I, I was like, I don't think they did. I think they're trolling no, you. No, no, they actually asked. They and think you, they re- you really think they thought you were yes. a stripper. But I'm like, look at my body. Do I look like I have the yes. physique for that? Yeah, you're oh, very thank muscular. You. Thank I'd you. probably pay a couple bucks. Yeah, yeah, I would All play. Right. I mean, you, you ain't gonna do it right now. You ain't gonna do it. I can't because if I show my legs, it'll deter ads. We don't need it. From I'm in the camera. Cross off true. your legs. That is true. Yeah, Let's yeah, continue yeah. with this story. Um. <laughs> anyway, we we can um. I'll let you guys. I mean, you guys yeah. can tell it if you. Uh, I can fill in the blanks, but I mean, yeah, Greg uh, was first, so. Um. So it all started. Oh man, maybe like back in. I want to say junior high when uh, we used to go to school together. Me, Will. I didn't go to junior high with you. Oh, that's right. High school then, huh? <laughs> yeah, high school. High school. Well, we all kind of lived in the same area. We were, were Me, Will, Dana, we're from Sacramento, California, which is where Dominic Dietrichs um, and a few others are. They're, they're all, we're all kind of like from a certain area. And uh, we grew up together. We went to the same high school together. And um, eventually, we started a dance crew called the Step Boys. And it was Step a hip hop. It was a hip hop dance crew. Shout out! And um, it originated with uh, you know a few guys, and then eventually we picked up Will. Will started dancing with us, and uh, in addition to Will, it was Dietrich. and that was when we kind of took dance seriously, and we started training. We started doing competitions, and uh, dance was like our main jam. And then um, Dom got so good at dancing, he actually went on to a few shows. He went on to America. He left us. He did leave us. And uh, Damn. Was, well, uh, we actually sent him away. We were like, you're so good. We're holding you back. Please don't go. I mean, please go do this thing. And he did. He went and killed it. And he, he did. Yeah. we can't. He was like, we were so freaking, like, proud of how, like, because we never would have thought, like, one of the people that we were with, if you don't know, he went to America's... No, first he went to So You Think You Can Dance. So You Think You Can Dance, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know, he just like did so well on it yeah. and came back. And he didn't win, but he made a name for himself for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. And from there, he went on to America's Best Dance Crew with Quest, which w- should have been Step Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Salty little bit. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. He was... That, at that time, he moved to LA and, you know, he had like his... He had he had a lot of good dancer friends out there, and yeah. they're all amazing. They're all like really good guys. So and they won, and they yeah. won, and we wouldn't have won. <laughs> but later on down the road, like we were like, man, if Dietrichs can do it, we could do it. That stuff is easy, bro. <laughs> so we actually did try out, and we did. Get you guys out made it. the show. Yeah, I was yeah. at that audition too. Yeah, I think supposedly you guys beat out Derek's crew. Yeah, you so did <laughs> beat out Derek's crew. So that's another which connection. one. His Fallen Kings. Fallen Kings, oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Derek was in a... He was also a dancer also. Actually, he is a dancer. He's Still dancing is. right now. <laughs> Still. Still. He left us. And um, he was actually someone that we all looked up to when we used to dance in, in Sacramento. He was like a professional break dancer that we were all like... When he when we saw him, I was like kind of intimidated by him. And now I... I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I can already see Derek and China listening to this. When you say it, he's like... Damn, Greg. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know Greg felt that yeah. way. <laughs> no, we actually did like super look up to him though. He was um he was super dope. I mean, he was a traveling like dancer, and they would go to other countries and they would win. Yeah, and like we like we would have never been able to do that kind of stuff because we weren't the best dancers, but we <laughs> could make good shows. Yeah, we and were. That was our forte. Performers. You guys yeah. are known as the 
funny guys. We were like clowns. Yeah. yeah. Like literally yeah. circus clowns. Yeah, you made other dance crews laugh. Like yeah. You, you, Pretty but much. You were, it's all about entertainment. That's what you guys were known for. Yeah. yeah. Even when you were on America's Best Dance Crew, like your logo was a mustache and yeah. like you were the mascot basically. Yeah. And it was not about like, oh, you guys can do the best flips or you guys have the best stunts. There's a little bit of everything, but the things you guys had was comedy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, the producers actually hated us. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. You didn't say that. Dom Dom was uh he was the judge at the yep. time on the show and conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah. Dude. He would he would kinda tell us like, you know, behind the scenes stuff and he was like, Yeah, you guys might need to step up your game because the producers they're they're like they really want you guys off the show because <laughs> you guys cannot dance at all. <laughs> We're like That's what, what? <laughs> what dude? We could dance, Let, let's show them. So th- yeah, we would, you know, put on girl costumes and Make a fool out of ourselves, but at the same time, and then time, they kick us off. At the same time, we we had a we had as like it was like a really good learning experience, and um, it was it was fun. And after the show, we all kind of uh, you know we needed to figure it out. And at that time, Dom and Ryan were living together because you guys met. How did you guys meet again? I met Dom uh, through Victor actually. Victor so Kim. same quest through yeah, quest through quest. Yeah. I met uh, Dom. Yeah, through Victor. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, I met Victor through Wong Fu, through a short that they were doing. And then we just happened to get in touch. And I was like, oh, you guys are on this show. You guys are, like, dope. Anyway, um, me and Victor kept in touch. He introduced me to Quest. And just naturally, I just, like, got along with Dom and, like, his his style of comedy and stuff like that. So we he ended up coming out a couple of times, and we hung out. Steve Tarada came out. Um, and then we just kept in touch. Uh, yeah, pretty much... I was going to live in LA and Vegas at the same time. Um, and I ended up getting an apartment with him in North Hollywood. Uh, and then that's where I guess that goes back to you, where yeah. I met you. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, maybe. What year is that? 2011, 2012. Yeah. Something like that. 11, no, it, I and it had to have been 11. Why? Maybe the year before. Because I think I met you 12 or 11. Okay. Dana would know. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it was after ABDC and like YouTube was a pretty big upcoming thing for Dom and you know, he wanted to spend more time and effort into it. And I was always like confused about it cuz I actually studied video for school. I went to college for um digital media and my plan was to, you know, do video. And then I saw I hear Dom getting into this YouTube thing. He's doing good and like Yeah, and he was like Greg what kind of camera should I get? And like, I was like, why, why do you want, why do you want this expensive camera? I was getting a little salty because, you know, I was like saving up all my, my allowance. I didn't get allowance back then. I was just like really excited to get like this, you know, these, this equipment that Dom was just picking up like nothing. He had like no interest in it at all. He was just getting it for this YouTube thing. And I had no interest in YouTube at the time. So I was like, okay, well, yeah, well, if you're, just, um, you know, you need this equipment to do this. You need this editing stuff. And um, basically, I was kind of helping Dom in his early YouTube career. And uh, I guess from there, he and or you guys were getting really into YouTube. And you guys formed, like, YTF and all that. Yeah. And uh, you guys needed kind of more help getting stuff out. So Dom um, offered me, you know, a place to stay and out in LA to help him uh, produce some videos, edit, film, do some stuff like that. So, you know, I didn't have anything planned but to try and dance some more. So I was just gonna, <laughs> you know, I finished my I finished school and then I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I just made the leap to to move out to LA and help you guys. So yeah, I think like a pretty big piece of it as well that we didn't mention was when we were younger, like when we first started hanging out, right? In Step Boys, I was probably like. I don't know, 15 or 16 when I first met them. And we really, like, Greg was, so he was, like, really always into, like, filming and editing. And essentially, he had, like, this group of literally clowns, right? So we would make these really stupid, funny videos for each other, which was, we didn't didn't use YouTube, but you would, he would make them on CDs. I would make them into, like, yeah, DVDs. And, and we'd stuff. give them to people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was kind of like our ver- our version. Like, we weren't on YouTube then, but that was, like, what we were doing. So that was, like, the correlation between Dom um, knowing Greg's value, you know, because he was the one that filmed and edited it. And um, 
Like it, it was just really stupid stuff like that we used to do. It was like, like basic typical YouTube, yeah, exactly. Or like early two thousand five, exactly. Like some s- jackass type stuff. Yeah. yeah, like just some stupid skits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. and um, so that was kind of the correlation between Dom using Greg as like a, or wanting to hire him in a sense because he knew he was that was what he was into. He was really good at it, and uh, well, and then well, I mean, you were living with us, but <laughs> you were you were literally on our couch. Like we, did, we had two, it was a two bedroom place. Me and Dom had a room. You were just living on our couch and the couch was not that big. It was, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tall. I'm five, five. And <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the, the couch was like two inches too short for me. So I, I constantly had to sleep like with a little kink in my neck. <laughs> That's true. And I'm pretty sure I got some back problems. To be me. fair. Yeah. It was a really nice place. It was. It wasn't that mm-hmm. rough. <laughs> it was. We were. Uh, coming from where we were, like step boys, yeah, it was like it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did you both move to LA at the same time? Greg, or? Greg moved before me. He was because, like, this point after ABDC, like, I didn't go on the show. I was still in college, and we were all like getting to the point where we were really figuring out. We were like kind of becoming adults a little bit. We were figuring out like what we wanted to do. Do we want to keep pursuing dance professionally? Greg was like finishing college so is he going to do dance or film like everyone was kind of in that phase and so greg had like after the show you know there we were might have like done professional in you know moving to la and stuff like that trying to do more dance but greg got this opportunity to do film with them and went ahead and then i remember it was like pretty like a specific time where greg came back and was like this is what i'm doing and he had we had like this talk with all the step boys about like you know you know, push harder. Like, let's do some stuff. Like, if you want to do a dance, if you want to be a dancer, move to LA and dance. Like, we had like this. You know, it was a serious talk, and I remember thinking, like, okay, I need to make a change. And you know, and, and it motivated everyone to like lit yep. the fire. And mm-hmm. so I just took the leap, and I tra- I was gonna transfer to LA, and so I moved to LA. I don't know how many months after that would have been, like probably like four. Yeah, I, was, I would say like four months. Three or four months, mm-hmm. and I just had just took the leap, and I was gonna transfer school out there. And continue my, you know, college education. And so that's why, like, I came after. Yeah. But I was, like, the instigator. I, I, I was trying to move out the entire dance crew because they were, like, my only friends. I didn't know anyone out in L.A. I didn't have no money. Yeah. I didn't have, like, anyone. The only one I had was Dom. Dom was, like, you know, my saving grace. But he was also the only one, only friend that I knew out there. Yeah. So it was kind of a risky jump. I mean, it was just, like, something that I was terrified of you know i was leaving all my family all my friends and all for this youtube thing that (laughs) there was nothing involved with it there was like i didn't know if i was gonna get paid i didn't know if i was gonna if it was gonna be a career that i can actually make money off of or you know be financially stable from but at the same time i kind of just knew that it was something something i don't know it was i think it was just the the like, it was exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't want to work for a big company, but I also wanted to make some big stuff. Like, I, I didn't want to be held back creatively. And I felt like this kind of, it checked all the checks that I needed in life besides the paycheck. So, like, I was I was like, okay, you know what? I'll figure out the money stuff later. As long as I get to make some dope stuff on in video and, you know, this is going to be worth it. In yeah. The end. So, I was like, yeah, Will, come out, man. Like, uh, we're going to get so much money. We're going to be all right, dog. <laughs> and I, I, I actually, I actually, we actually got a, a a good portion of our dance crew to, you know, like, come out. And, I mean, like, Jarrell, he's with, uh, you know, he's doing his thing out there with Dom, or he was doing his thing with Dom. There's Green. Yeah. They're all kind of from Step Boys. I mean, they are from Step Boys. And yeah. If you see, like, um, you know, a lot of the people that's in Dom's videos, you know, the they're they're probably from Sacramento and it's a it's a pretty cool family that Sacramento if you don't if you've never been there it makes sense because there's nothing to do out there so I think that's what we kind of like uh, there's nothing to do but hone your crafts and like get better at dancing or video or whatever so it's it was a cool place it was a boring place to, to live but it was also a very like cultured place so yeah that's the origin of yeah how we met Ryan basically. Yeah. And then yep. to continue the story just a little bit, like after Greg had moved, I had moved shortly after 
And then, like Greg said, we didn't really know anyone. So we, me and Greg, we hung out like every day. Yeah. And then sometimes, since Ryan was Dom's roommate, sometimes R- Dom would be somewhere else, like super busy. So we were hanging out with Ryan, like because he was at the house and he, our department, and and he was obviously working and doing YouTube stuff, and so it literally just put us in the same, like literally the same room. And it just kind of the same. I think the same thing that uh, connected Dom in a sense, like the sense of humor, like that's what we shared as well. Because it, it's it's all from the same dance crew, essentially. Like it, we all. It's kind of like a uh, Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers in a way. Who's that? Uh, Who's that? It's it's a book where it basically talks about how you were at like the prime age, the youngest point you could have been to learn all that you could, and and be in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Type of thing. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a firm believer of like, th- there's nothing wrong with hard work. I mean, it never really hurt anyone besides you in your own time. And, you know, yeah. Uh, I, I do agree. We were in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And uh, it is a very, you know, fortunate opportunity for us. You know, Ryan, Dom, especially giving us these opportunities. But, you know, at the same time, if it wasn't for, us putting in the hard work to get us to be, you know, have some type of s- talent in the first place. They probably wouldn't have even, you know, thought of us. Okay. Yeah. So yep. And it just had perfectly lined up too with you because you were in a phase of your career where you, you did want to like, um, like create like a small crew to help you produce more on a more constant basis. Right. Because if we would have met you like a year before, it would probably have been completely different. Right. Um, I think originally, I didn't even know Greg could do what he could do. Right. Effects wise. I wanted somebody who could help me shoot for one. And yeah. then have another, you know, bodies around. Right. Um, because it was just so hard to do everything by yourself. Um and then when I saw what he could do in terms of like his filming, and I was just like, How did you make because I y- would use the camera, I would give him my camera sometimes. Right. And he would get a shot and I'd be like, How did you make it look so cinematic? And he'd be like, Oh, you know, you just do this and this and this and you know, he makes the background blurry and teaches, he's just like I, stuff about my own camera. Cause I didn't know how to use it. Right. You know? Um, and then I was like, when he kind of showed me that stuff, I was like, damn, there's so much things I did not know was even possible. Yeah. Um, and that's the main reason why I wanted to bring Greg on. So I think, uh, honestly, I think it would have happened still with Greg because I was just like so intrigued with learning like what else is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Like and I, we kept it, yeah. every single video. If you look, it's, it's, per, it's a progression. Like from year to year, there's huge jumps in it terms is. of what we were doing. And it's not necessarily like he couldn't have done, Greg couldn't have done it before. It's just, I was like literally doing what we do now. I was like, Hey, is this possible? How can we do this? And you know, still keep it within our brand. Right. Um, <clears throat> but it, it, that's how it progressed. It, it was a lot of, um, I think even you, like, you know, like, you couldn't even compare your knowledge now to that, that version of Greg, because you learned so much along the way, and you just kept, you know, if you didn't know something, you never said no, you just looked it up, figured it out, even if sometimes it was whack compared to what you thought it was going to be, or even for what I thought it was going to be, it's like, at least we got it done, you know, might not have been exactly how we pictured, but the fact that you figured out how to do it is, I guess, I guess in a way, it's, it's a good and bad thing to say, always say yes, you're going to you can make this happen. I think yeah. that, that comes from, I think for sure it comes from step boys in a sense yeah. of like, we, we never, uh, it was so weird. Cause our, our performances, like I said, they weren't they didn't dance good, yeah. but somehow we made it happen to where whoever's watching, they would either laugh or, er, or understand a story, yeah. you know? And a big portion of that came from, I think the mentality that we all breeded and definitely like the older guys for sure of like, take this idea and make it happen, right? right. That's yeah. what I think. It's just like, you know, you can literally make something out of nothing. Like, you don't need to have all the skills. You don't need to have talent. You know, I mean, you, you need to have more so just the the willingness and the drive to be able to, you know, say, okay, I got this. Well, back then, it was like, you know, if you take, for example, we had this dance crew. No one knew how to dance, but we all <laughs> wanted to. Seriously. We all yeah, wanted to put on a good show. Like we knew what made us smile and what made us like like a, a, a certain dance performance. So we're like, okay, we'll just tweak our abilities and you know get that same kind of moment, but with our skill levels. Yeah. 
So like, you know, we knew we had one guy that had a, that could do a backflip. So we utilized that guy a lot because he was, <laughs> uh, you know, it was, it gave that idea that the entire crew could do backflips. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, we, we apply that same kind of idea to, to video. We, we're not the best video makers. I mean, we're far from it. There's like so many good um, effects guys, camera people, but we try to, I mean, we, we do our best to get a really good, um, you know, like professional look, but at the same time, we, we half the time, more than half the time, 69% of the time, we don't know what the heck we're doing. 69% yep. of the time. Exactly. 69. Um, just to go back on to the origin and finish up, I'll do the fast version. Yeah. Just so people understand. Yes, right. I met Greg first, and it was literally on a per-project basis. I was just kind of like, you know, it was more Dom's friend. Um, and then eventually, like, you know, it wasn't consistent enough for you, I think, uh, to the point where, like, I was using you more than Dom. I was and a YTF uh, slave. You I were, was, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting tossed around. Actually, YTF. Don't, was it YTF before you started working with it me? It was or? right during, like, right during YTF is when I moved out. It was, like, the heart of it. Oh, um, okay. So you came on a little after then. I guess yeah. so, yeah. Okay. You were the YTF yeah. BTSer. Yeah. Yeah. If someone needed a video in YTF, mm -hmm. it was probably my, yeah. Right. And then uh, from there, you introduced me to Will. Yeah. I mean, yeah. already kind of, we already kind of met, but mm -hmm. like that's where we started hanging out. Like you said, we hung out more. Yep. After that, we I ended up moving back to Vegas because I f I really did not like living in LA. Yep. Um, and then you guys came out too, and lived at the Clouth, which is the <laughs> dang. I don't know what the Clouth is. They know what the Clouth is. Really? Right? Yeah, they've heard us say it before. Oh, I think dang. so. Okay, that's well, the so Clouth is is the first house I lived in Vegas. And it became the office, essentially. Right. I see that comment a lot. Like, what house is this? Yeah, the cloud, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. I don't think it's ever been officially addressed as that. Oh, well. I think Derek put it in the behind the scenes before. When yeah, Derek, Derek you know. exposed us. Um, anyway, from there. Uh, so, Will and Greg are there. I think the next person might have been Sean. Yeah. Or was it Derek? No, it was... Oh, it might have been... I think Sean visited or something. No, it was no, Sean. No, was Sean visited... And then he went back. He was still in college. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that's a. I don't it's, know. Oh, man, because I Derek think, was. I think it was Sean. We were. I say Sean. We were like around with Derek a lot because he already lived in Las Vegas yep. and he was doing his own YouTube stuff. So anyway, we would help him for after. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say Sean. I think it was Sean. Okay. Uh, Sean finished college and he hit me up. Well, I hit him up too. I was just like, I always told him from the last time he visited, like, hey, if you ever want to get back into making some videos and stuff like that, like, come come through you know like we have a place like because they were staying at the house and you know we had some room um and he says yeah i was I i'm interested in that um i don't think he he what he at the time he was very not interested i think he was just so over college school. yeah he was over school that's why he really wanted to do it and then now obviously he's back interested in it again um but so sean was there and then eventually you guys Whoops. moved out right it was like this weird thing where everybody except Derek lived at the cloud. Yeah. 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 At some yeah. point. Anyway, Sean came in. Derek had just finished a uh, job. The, he, he was working with the job walk. He's dancing in a Vegas show. Um, but it was just about to be renewed or the show was just ending. Um, and he had the option to either go be on the show again or I, or I don't know what, what it was. Like he had to re-audition or something. Yeah. Or he said, hey, uh, is it like I want to edit like. This is what I went right. to school for, whatever. Like, do you want uh, another editor? So I said, okay, well, um, yeah, I guess we could bring Derek in too. So we brought in Derek. From there, was it Josh? Josh. Yeah. Or Dana. Da oh, Dana moved out. Wait, was it that time? I think it was oh, Dana Josh? was before Josh, no? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, either way, Josh Fu, yeah. he was a brief period of time, but yeah. he was living out here too. Um, met him through Internet Icon. And that was a thing, and uh, well, it's Ooh. also where I met <laughs> also where I met Paco, alumni, um, alumni. <laughs> but yeah, I think Josh was here for a little bit. Dana came in um, because of Greg. Essentially, she was coming here. What was her reasoning for coming here? Just I mean, to do interior just, design, right? Yeah, it was interior design, but also you know we were doing like a long term relationship, and it was just distance. not working. Long, long distance, long, and long term, and long dude. Term. For one, well, we'll talk about that oh, next. Yeah. But uh, oh, wait, well, oh yeah. Why did you say it like that? No, I was like uh, in agreement. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I thought you were trying this to make a fetish. joke. No. Um, <laughs> long term relationships. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, we might have to talk about that on a different one. Sure. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So Dana and then Josh ended up leaving to go work with his parents in, in Atlanta or LA. Mm, I'm not like sure. That. Atlanta. Um, and then Paco, the story, I don't know. Have I told this story about him coming? We were doing, I know specifically we were filming schizo, that 30 minute schizo. What is it called? The Halloween one. The Halloween yeah. schizo. It's all yeah. my fault. And <laughs> it's okay. We'll get to that. So Paco comes and he hits me up. You know, we kind of know each other. <laughs> And then he's he's like, hey man, I just want to let you know, anytime you, uh, you know, I would love to come help. Uh, just I'll drive out and just get some experience. And I was like, all right, well we're shooting this really long schizo episode, uh, sure. And he drove out like I think pretty like soon right after, was, right? Like, I, I rented hours. a car. Yeah, you and rented. Came out. Okay, so that's that's one other thing. He rented a car, drove all the way out from LA, just to come be on set and help us for free. I wasn't paying him. Yeah. He just came. And I was like, damn, this is a really hardworking, cool dude. Seriously. Like, who does that? He kind of reminded me. Yeah. Reminded I'll, me yeah. Of me, just like giving up some some of his uh, of his time and, and, you know, just dedicating it towards bettering himself. Yeah. And I was like, this is very impressive. It was like a two-day shoot, I believe, right? No, yeah, you guys a, were shooting for four least. days. Yeah. But, but you hit me up on the first right. day. And I do yeah. remember the second day when we we're filming, uh, at the time, I think you fell asleep during the shoot. Or something like that. Something like that happened. And we were all like, you know, whatever. Because he he's like here drove, for free. Yeah, and he drove the whole time. Yeah. And he was, you know, up all I night. I think it was the end of that day. Because I had just arrived and we went to shoot, like, right yes, away. Yeah. I forgot And then I, like, that. he fell asleep during the shoot. And normally I'd be like, oh, that's, if he was working for us, he would be like, that's weird. But. Little did we know. Warning <laughs> signs. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, Will, of all people, was like, I was like, hey, do you oh. think it's worth, like, we, we Josh just left. We could bring this guy on board. Like he, we could use the hands. Like if he edits, um, I know he did edit because he was making videos of his own. It's on internet icon. I got course. scammed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Will was the number one person. Like fight. he was like, this is no. He, well, he's I gonna w- help. Yeah, because I was like messaging him. Like, hey, good job on coming out. Like we really appreciate the time. I was like and shocked. And yeah, and I was like, if you that. keep, you know, if you keep coming around, like. That's how it wor- you know. That's how it always has worked. Like Derek was yeah. around for a long time, and he was wa- just helping. Exactly, and then. That's exactly what I told him. I was like, if you keep coming out and killing it, like, of course, you know, something's bound to happen. You know, it's like, and that's what happened. <laughs> but anyway, um, Paco ended up being a part of the group. Yeah. And Is he? Uh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> He's in. Paco, Paco's in. Um, and that's pretty much how he got in. <laughs> I was telling him to do the claps, but. But I think we found, because um, it I was always trying to find out. I was like, okay, so you don't want to write because, well, for me, like, I mean, I was like, okay, so you don't want to edit. S- you have such a specific voice. I do have writing, a very specific voice. So it's hard to you, write it's, for you. It's, I know. That's why I, writing I, for I write. Ryan is tough. He's yeah. a, his stuff is, it's, it takes a genius. I mean, it's hard. No, no. It takes it's a just big head. <laughs> he does have a big head. <laughs> big yeah, head, bro. Okay, well. It's weeks and weeks of yeah. thousands of ideas Ryan, that come down to one. Ryan is a literal it, genius, guys. It's, yeah. no. It's hard because I'm very particular in what I like. Yeah, <laughs> and um, that's true. Might not always make sense to people, but it's just I, I'm just very picky. Even if it's down to a point one second cut, it makes a difference to me. Yeah. Um, it does. I well, mean, one thing I will say the last thing that Greg was talking about um, a little bit was um, like Greg's value in it was that he was like super into filming and editing and stuff like that, and people recognize that. When I came on, like I didn't do any film, I didn't do any editing. Like, we wrote something a little bit in the beginning, mm-hmm. and I think, hopefully, like, I like to think that that probably at least put me on the radar. Mm. But literally, if you want to learn something, it's, on, like, online. It's the determination and just wanting to learn something. Yeah. Because I learned everything from Greg, from Ryan, from online, like, searching, and just, like, literally just wanting and, like, pursuing it. So it's it's possible. Like, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to film. And... Motivational podcast. Yeah, there they we have go. those. No, we are. This kind of turned into that. You it's kind of it. inspiring. Do it. You can do we it. We should just take out the whole first half. It's just called just continue from this part. Yeah, now. just call it <laughs> Step Boys the movie, and it's just like about inspiration, <laughs> like about a dance crew that didn't know how to dance. Perspiration, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they all ended up doing mm. like kind of big things. I yeah, pretty. pretty cool. <laughs> 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 I don't know everybody, but I mean the one guy's in a things. you know some guys became cinematographers, editors. Guy's a stripper, yeah. right? That we have a, we have one of our crewmates that is uh, in the Chippendale, so yeah, Whoa. a real sh- Vegas show. Like yeah. that's not a joke. Yeah, yeah, 
Well, anyway, we could talk a whole lot more, but yeah. we've hit about the hour mark, uh, which means we don't have time for Twitter questions. We well, also we, let's just do some let's real do quick fast ones. ones. Real quick ones. Yeah, I like this rapid part. fire. Ra- uh, we'll yet. do. Um, I guess one. Two. Uh, no, we'll <laughs> do one. We'll no. just go through it real quick. No, real we'll fast. do one. We'll do one, and we're gonna pull it from uh, the Reddit page, and we're gonna. I guess we're gonna open it up now. I don't see start. it. I have it. We're gonna oh. start utilizing it. This thing she's gonna show us. But what is like? Do you watch the old videos still? Because I know sometimes you guys do, and you cringe at it. Which one is your favorite one? And I want to go in order of Greg, Will, and then Ryan. Honestly, I will say something quick about this. The, that's the one thing that's crazy about, like, I feel like the work that I've done with Ryan is a lot of the time, if I watch old videos, I don't cringe. If it was, yeah. like, something that I made, like, a long time ago, for sure I would cringe at it. But that's why it's, like, I know it's something really special because, I don't know. I <laughs> they hold up. Yeah. They, they definitely they really hold do. up. There's some videos that... I, I cringe. Have, ah. like, I do at a lot of them. Yeah, he's, he's Some of them are better than, obviously. Some yeah. better than yeah. others. But, yeah. um, so which ones are your favorites, then? Uh, I guess man. I'll start. Oh, Stole he it. Took the he took the good one. He took the good one. Oh, my God. That's everybody. Okay, we got to say this because people, for whatever reason, <laughs> the ones we love, right? Especially for me and Greg, when we're editing, we're like, dying sometimes and we're like oh no we're laughing so hard no one's gonna like this no it like never <laughs> all the ones we love like uh, so many of them i know even the ones that i'm like oh this is so bad and we're like that means it's gonna do good yeah. you know yeah. and for whatever reason me and greg and, and that final edit if we're dying we're like great no one's gonna get this yeah. <laughs> there's literally like videos that you guys probably don't know exist that they're my favorite videos just because they're so <laughs> deep yep but I would say um, my favorite video would probably be, oh, man. We made some, man, there was one. Uh, oh, uh, what was the scary one that we did with Kyle? Oh, the Paranormal know. Writers. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That one was pretty good. You like that one? Um, no. I like <laughs> that one, actually. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> That's not my favorite, yeah, but I liked pants. it. Pegpants, dude, Pegpants is so good. Yeah, that is so funny because that one was Oh, as anyway. far as something I was the most proud of, I mean, it was probably, it would, yeah, it would probably have to be, um, like, uh, one of the big videos. I mean, like, uh, Candy Crush. That was, like, a really... That was the one I was going to say. That was, like, yeah, a, a transitional video for us, I think. For was, you? Yeah. That's when I was like, holy crap, you yeah. just created a world. Yeah. And, like, yeah. we never did anything like that. And I yeah. was like, if you can do this... And then, and then that was your downfall because yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> if Greg can do this, that means he can do all these other things. And then, yeah, it just spiraled from there. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Candy Crush, actually. Got it. That was Candy the first one. I was like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, that one was really fun. Yeah. Super cool. But then that's another one. We go back. I don't cringe, but I'm like, oh, this is compared to some of the stuff he's doing now in terms of the effects. I'm like, oh, this is nothing now. Right. But, I mean, still, it's not nothing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Even, even... If you just like put it during that time where you know effects were still pretty new for YouTube videos, yeah, it was. Oh man, it wasn't. It's not anything good, but it was decent for the time. Yeah. For and us, uh, it was good. Yeah, yeah. There was like, I think at the time Freddie Wong was doing crazier yeah. stuff, and we're just like, that, yeah. well, that's his gimmick. You know, yeah. our gimmick is not even about effects. Yeah, it's just supposed to enhance the comedy. Corridor has always been some. They were around before Freddie, right? Yeah, I mean, they're like, oh, they were working with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they've always been like killing the game. And yeah, some like. Some YouTube channel that I've always looked up to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can I machine gun these? No, we we're out of time. What well, was your first job? Um, gift wrapper at the mall. I used to wrap gifts. Nice. We're quick out of time. No, let's just go quick ones. Quick ones. Uh, how did you meet Dana? As quick um, as possible. Dance class. When's the next episode of Will and Greg show? Um, oh, no. February <laughs> t- 2069. <laughs> That's where we ended. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I think the one last thing that I wanted to say I is. Like these. Um, we're out of time. Sorry, I know we're out of time. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> but uh, because I, the reason why I chose the question of what was your guys' favorite old videos is that because you recently announced uh, that you were dating Arden. Uh, one what? Of the, yeah, and it's news to uh, you. I just news. he didn't he didn't watch the oh, videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just but <edits>. um, <laughs> if you know it, would, I I thought it would be kind of cool to see both you and Arden react to Agents of Secret stuff. What? And so <laughs> this <laughs> that whole segment is just you pitching an idea. <laughs> well, the, well, we we had previously talked about this. Uh, what? <laughs> you? No, nah, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. But Pretending what? Like I I just I don't think it's a 
I don't want to. I know you don't. <laughs> yeah. That actually is one I would cringe at. I cringe at agent secret stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, How many he, likes? Yeah. He says, oh, if he just gets, it's one of those videos. Oh, it gets so many likes. You guys would do it. But I really don't want to. So I'm going to say like, I don't even know what our podcast gets normally, but Look double it, it. Triple it. Oh, get them. I, I don't Look want at the last do one. Really the last one. It has to be in the first week because you can't just keep adding up and yeah, then I got to yeah, do yeah, it yeah. eventually. Right, I'll look at yesterday's one. How about that? I hate asking for likes, though. You don't have to like it if you don't Paco like it. Paco will do it. <laughs> Should I just ask for likes? You, I mean, you can. How, how about something almost, make a difference like, almost difficult, like 100,000? Okay, well, Is yeah. That like it's unre- a lot for a podcast. Unrealistic, though? It's pretty unrealistic. All right, drop it down a little bit. All right, 50,000. No, 100. 100. I don't want to do that, dude. That's not fun. Ooh, the Greg special. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second channel, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I don't want to do it. I, I, now I feel like it's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't want to watch that thing again. <laughs> you guys heard the deal. Sixty-nine thousand no. likes. Ryan does a reaction to ass. No, Arden does it. And you and Arden. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Six hundred ninety thousand <laughs> likes, and we watch Sean and Ryan's not so <laughs> oh, excellent I'm adventure. I'm bleeping that part out. <laughs> don't even mention that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. All, All right. right, we need to end this. Thank you guys for watching the Off the Bill podcast. <laughs> I mean, um, you guys know how we end it. So yeah. in three, two, one. <laughs> Boop, ba, ba, dee, da, oh ba. my god! <laughs> this that is like, the deepest joke. This smells like Ian. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is even deeper. That's, Why, dude? That that's is not deep at all. That's not yeah, deep at all. Yeah. Peace out, anyway, guys. Let's go. See you next time. I'm Peace. not gonna do it. I'm not gonna watch. I'm not. <laughs>